Hi. So we met with the oncologist last night. So I now know the plan. And so I'm two weeks post-op from the lymph node removal. And I'm going to start chemotherapy next Thursday. I've got to have a porter cath fitted here. So that, because um, where they've taken the lymph nodes out, they can't use my left arm um, because of risk of infection which means everything will have to be done through my right arm. But obviously it's going to damage my right arm because it's it's not nice stuff that they're putting in. So long term and for the future, it's better to have this thing. Apparently it's like a 50p or something that will be here. And they can take blood from it and then they can give, give the chemo through it. And I found... Oh, I'm totally mind blown wasn't expecting I wasn't expecting them to say that it was going to be next week I just kind of got my head around it being um sorry it's all dirty um that it it was it was going to be sort of middle of August and it's not it's next week um, he said that although everything appears to be gone, they can't rule out microscopic cancer in the skin and in the cells. And the the fact that I'm so young um, means that there's a long time for those microscopic cancers to become a problem. So if I was 70 or 80... It, probably wouldn't matter so much and probably wouldn't affect me um so I've got to have one lot of chemo every three weeks for four lots and then they change that chemo to a different one and it'll be every fortnight for four weeks so it'll pretty much take me up to Christmas and obviously the risk of infection is a, is problematic, especially with two babies um, at nursery and starting school. So Lauren's going to come home with all kinds of stuff. But I think the thing that's done my head in the most is the percentages so he said um he said um by having the chemo i reduced the chance of i think i don't know if it was either dying from it or it coming back i can't remember by a third and um, by having the hormone replacement which, which i think takes about 10 years reduces it by another third they're also going to shut my ovaries off push me into the menopause so that's going to be fun and that and that means they can then give me um different injections or something and uh, there's some evidence to suggest that that will um increase my chances you know, or improve my chances by one or two percent. So that's great, but there's still a third outstanding. He said because it's um, gone into the lymph nodes and my age, then the risks are higher, which is why we have to have the chemo and the radiotherapy and. And all of this stuff. And I... I don't know. I think I'd... I've been reading a script in my head as to how it's going to be and what's going to happen. And... I think I got it quite wrong. 
because of the um, hormone injections, I had to go to the dentist today because apparently there's a risk that um, it will cause osteonecrosis of the jawbone, which basically means um, the bone will, could die. In the, I don't know why in the jawbone, I don't know why that's susceptible. Um, I don't know, it's the same as on any medication, isn't it? If you read the sort of possible side effects um, for paracetamol or, you know, something you've got in your cupboard, there'll be a huge list and it's the same with anything. And I, it was just so much to take in. And I'm probably going to lose my hair about 10 or 14 days after the first treatment. And I've really tried to be okay with that, and I don't know that I am. And I was sat, we were sat there waiting to go in. And I've been in the NHS now. I don't even know, 14 years, you know, and I've taken patients home to die. I've worked on many, many people, taken them to their radiotherapies, you know, I've done all. And there I was sat staring at a wall of pamphlets and information about living with cancer and it's me <laughs> I'm not a very good patient either I'm very impatient I'm quite grumpy Shit. don't let Tim hear you say it's hear me say that So scared. You know, the doctor said that there's a, you know, we, we mustn't underestimate the risk that infection poses. Um, and, you know, it can kill me. You know, a friend of mine ended up in ITU with sepsis. So I've just... I wanted to do the chemo on a Tuesday, which would mean possibly being ill on, like, the Friday, Saturday, and I, I didn't want to be poorly on the weekends because then my kids would definitely be here. So we're going to do it on a Thursday and I hope that that still works and, and so I'll be poorly on the Monday, Tuesday and perhaps I can go to nursery and not see how bad I'll get. So yeah, I feel... Absolutely exhausted. I was driving home. I just wanted to be sick. Oh, this is actually happening. And, oh, I just, I just don't know where my head at is at today. But I went to my work and I saw my Ashford family and they were so lovely. Um, and it was so nice to see them and I'm not sure, I'm not sure if I'm going to get to go back to work this side of Christmas.
<laughs> oh god I promise I don't mean to cry every time I do these <laughs> I just feel so scared and I know that people mean well you know and they're telling me what's best to eat and that's great I need all that information and I want all that information But I feel like I'm still processing and my escape is normally alcohol. <laughs> I used to smoke. I don't do that anymore. And so I eat badly. Because somehow, and for some reason, I always took comfort in food. They call it comfort food, don't they? <laughs> I mean, it's crazy to think that potentially I've done this all to myself with my poor diet and poor lifestyle. And that's quite difficult. That's a really difficult thought that potentially my kids could be without a mother. And it was preventable. So, I'm probably going to start doing a few more of these because I think a lot more is going to start to happen. Um, obviously, I've got the, the Porsche calf thing on Friday. They're going to sedate me. So, I may not video that because who knows what I will say. Um, and... And then what happens? So then Wednesday I have to have a blood test. And then Thursday I have to have the chemo. And then Friday I have to, excuse me, I have to um, go back for some injection. I can't remember what it was called. To basically give my immune system a bit of a kick and a restart. And I'll be on steroids to sort of try and boost my immune system as well for three days. And then I get to wait. No, I get to have my birthday. And then be poorly after that, I hope. But something tells me that I'm going to feel really shit on my birthday. <sighs> Ooh. Yeah, so that's the update. going to be bored we're going to start chemo it's all just a bit crazy but it's just a bump in the road that's what I keep telling myself this is just a bump it's the sat nerve taking me down the wrong road it's fine I'm going to find my way back it's just a bump in the road and then this time next year I'll be a millionaire so Thank you guys for all of your love and all of your support. I definitely, definitely appreciate all of it. So I will speak to you all soon and probably Friday. And I hope you're all well. 